Imagine a world where aging is a thing of the past and humans can achieve virtual immortality. Hello, Nathan. 10 fingers and toes? Pretty seamless. This is the first day of the rest of your afterlife. Renowned futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that by 2029, advancements in biotechnology, nanotechnology, and artificial intelligence will converge to make this a reality. It's not that far off. If you're diligent, I think we'll get there by 2029. Now, not everybody's diligent, so right. that's a very big issue, and yeah. it's already doing lots of things uh, makes some people uncomfortable. What we're actually doing is increasing our intelligence. I keep going back to my uh, idea of being able to expand human life quickly enough uh, in advance of our getting there. Longevity, escape velocity, um, which we're not quite at yet, but I think we're actually pretty close. Expert takes on immortality. Ray Kurzweil envisions a future where humans achieve longevity escape velocity. I'm trying to get to the point where we have uh, longevity escape velocity in good shape. Right. And yes, I do follow that. Uh, I take maybe 80 pills a day and wow. some uh, injections and so on. So peptides? Far, so, yes, peptides. Mm -hmm. So, so far it works. Um, and uh, Have you ever gone off of it to see what you feel like normally? No. Well, I do that, right? Yeah. I mean, it seems to work, and there's, there's evidence behind it. How old are you now? Uh, 70, 76. You look good. <laughs> you look good for 76, man. That's great. Yeah. So it's doing something. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's working. Besides Ray, biomedical gerontologist Aubrey de Grey shares a similar optimism about combating aging. He proposes that with sufficient research, therapies could be developed to repair the cellular and molecular damage that accumulates with aging, potentially leading to indefinite lifespans. De Grey's strategies for engineered negligible senescence project outlines seven types of damage to be addressed to eliminate aging. He believes that medical technology may enable human beings alive today not to die from age-related causes. Meanwhile, theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku acknowledges the rapid progress in biotechnology and AI, but advises caution regarding predictions of near-term immortality. We're entering the fourth wave of wealth generation beyond steam power, beyond electricity, beyond computers. The fourth wave is physics at the molecular level. That means artificial intelligence, means nanotechnology and biotechnology. So they're going to change everything. Even our bodies, our cells, the job market, everything is going to change. Why do we die? We die because of errors. Errors build up in our cells, in our genes, in our hormones. These air buildup is why we die. But now with genetic engineering, we can dream of the possibility of correcting these mistakes, correcting the errors that develop in our genome. And that means perhaps extending the human lifespan. So for the first time in history, we can now think about living forever and not be locked up in a lunatic farm. We're talking about immortality as being part of our medical agenda. Kaku emphasizes that while we may develop technologies to slow aging and enhance longevity, the complete elimination of biological aging presents significant challenges. And what about public health professor Dr. S.J. Olshansky? He is skeptical about claims of near-term immortality. Uh, my colleague and I, who made the bet, have actually doubled it. Um, I'm uh, as confident as ever that I don't think really these human bodies are capable of lasting that long, even if we find a way to slow aging. Uh, my colleague firmly believes that it's going to happen. Uh, neither of us are going to be around in 2150 <laughs> to collect on it, but it'll probably be one of our ancestors. He emphasizes that aging is a complex process not easily addressed by technological fixes and cautions against overpromising outcomes. 
Olshansky argues that while research into longevity is important, the idea that humans could achieve immortality in just a few years is unrealistic. He advocates for focusing on improving health span, the number of years a person can live in good health, rather than pursuing an unattainable goal of eternal life. Biotech and AI – The Future of Longevity The rapid progress in biotechnology and nanotechnology plays a crucial role in Kurzweil's prediction. Of being able to do things inside our body, inside our mind, that's going to help. What's exciting, what's terrifying about nanobots? What's exciting is that that's a way to communicate with our neocortex, because it's each neocortex is pretty small and you need a small entity that can actually get in there and establish a communication channel. And that's going to really be necessary to connect our brains to AI within ourselves, because otherwise it would be hard for us to compete with it. In a high bandwidth way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's key, actually, because a lot of the things like Neuralink are, are really not high bandwidth yet. So nanobots is the way you achieve high bandwidth. How much intelligence would those nanobots have? Yeah, they don't need a lot. Uh, just enough to basically establish a communication channel to one nanobot. So. so it's primarily about communication Yeah, between external computing devices and our biological thinking machine. What worries you about nanobots? Is it similar to the, with the viruses? Well, I mean, there's the great goo ch challenge. Yes. Um, if you had uh, a nanobot that uh, wanted to create any, any kind of entity and repeat itself and was able to operate in a natural environment. Biotechnology integrates with AI to address challenges like high R and D costs and data management, unlocking new possibilities in drug discovery and personalized medicine. For instance, AI-powered platforms analyze vast databases to accelerate the identification of potential therapeutic targets. Nanotechnology further enhances medical diagnostics and treatments. Nanoparticles can be engineered to bind to specific biomarkers associated with diseases, enabling early detection and targeted therapy. This precision reduces side effects and improves treatment efficacy. Moreover, AI's integration with biotechnology and nanotechnology is pivotal in realizing virtual immortality. AI algorithms can predict how different compounds interact with human proteins, aiding in the design of effective drugs. Machine learning models analyze genetic data to identify mutations linked to aging and diseases, paving the way for gene therapies that could extend lifespan. Leaked Data and AI's Secret Advancements Recent incidents and policy shifts have sparked discussions about the rapid progression of artificial intelligence and its implications for concepts like virtual immortality by 2029. Notably, in May 2023, Tesla experienced a significant data breach when a whistleblower leaked approximately 100 gigabytes of confidential information to the German media outlet Handelsblatt. This leak exposed thousands of safety complaints related to Tesla's autopilot system and included the personal data of over 75,000 individuals, encompassing both current and former employees. The breach raised serious concerns about data security and the internal handling of sensitive information within AI-driven technologies. Under the Trump administration, the National Institute of Standards and Technology issued new directives to scientists collaborating with the U.S. The Artificial Intelligence Safety Institute issued new directives altering its focus. These directives called for the removal of terms like AI safety, responsible AI, and AI fairness from their objectives. Instead, the emphasis shifted toward reducing ideological bias to promote human flourishing and economic competitiveness. This shift indicates a focus on advancing AI capabilities, potentially ahead of public timelines. 
whistleblower accounts have suggested that the timeline for achieving artificial general intelligence could be between 2024 and 2027. But many top AI companies, including OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, are treating building AGI as an entirely serious goal, and a goal that many people inside those companies think they might reach in 10 or 20 years, and some believe could be as close as one to three years away. More to the point, Many of these same people believe that if they succeed in building computers that are as smart as humans, or perhaps far smarter than humans, that technology will be at a minimum extraordinarily disruptive, and at a maximum could lead to literal human extinction. These revelations hint at the development of advanced AI models operating beyond human control, possibly accelerating the path toward AI-human integration and concepts like virtual immortality. However, it's important to note that these accounts are speculative and lack concrete evidence. While incidents like Tesla's data breach and shifts in AI research directives suggest rapid advancements in AI technology, there is no definitive evidence that AI has achieved capabilities beyond public knowledge or that virtual immortality is imminent by 2028. The complexities inherent in AI development and the ethical considerations involved necessitate careful scrutiny of such claims. Ethical and Societal Implications The quest for virtual immortality, as envisioned by futurists like Ray Kurzweil, brings forth several ethical and societal considerations that merit thoughtful discussion. If life-extending technologies become available, there's a concern that they may be accessible primarily to the wealthy. This exclusivity could create a significant divide between those who can afford such treatments and those who cannot, leading to deeper social inequalities. The emergence of an immortal elite could result in a society where longevity is a privilege of the few, exacerbating existing disparities. Extending human lifespans could contribute to overpopulation, intensifying the demand for finite resources like food, water, and energy. This increased pressure might lead to environmental degradation and heightened competition for essential commodities, challenging global sustainability efforts. Achieving virtual immortality would fundamentally alter our understanding of life and death, concepts deeply rooted in cultural and religious traditions. This shift could lead to existential questions about the meaning of life, the natural human experience, and the societal implications of an ageless population. An immortal population could lead to societal stagnation over time. Longer lifespans might result in entrenched power structures, making it harder for change to occur. With reduced generational turnover, younger individuals may have fewer opportunities to introduce fresh perspectives and innovations. This stagnation could hinder social and technological progress. The medical community grapples with ethical dilemmas surrounding life extension. The line between prolonging life and merely extending the dying process becomes increasingly blurred. This raises critical questions about quality of life, the fair allocation of medical resources, and the moral responsibilities of healthcare providers. While the prospect of virtual immortality offers intriguing possibilities, it also necessitates a comprehensive ethical and societal discourse to address the profound implications of such a transformative development. Will we be immortal by 2029? As we race toward the future, the idea of immortality feels closer than ever. Futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that by 2029, 
medical and technological advancements could make death optional. While this prediction may be ambitious, one thing is certain. Science moves fast. Breakthroughs in AI-driven medicine, genetic engineering, and nanotechnology pave the way for extended lifespans. Full immortality may not happen yet, but slowing aging, reversing diseases, and adding decades to life seem within reach. The question goes beyond whether we can live forever. What happens if we do? Would society thrive, or would new challenges emerge? The future of human longevity unfolds before our eyes.